The tourism industry generates £6.9 billion to the Welsh economy and provides more than 200,000 jobs across Wales. With word of mouth generally being the most common way of people finding out about a potential holiday destination, flight tipping can significantly reduce the appeal of visiting an area, ruining national beauty spots with unsightly household waste. Brengbings National Park gets about 4.8 million visitor days a year and those people come from all around the world to enjoy the landscape and the activities that the National Park can provide. And it's what the core purpose of the National Park was here for, is to enhance and conserve the natural landscape that you see around us today and also promote opportunities for its enjoyment. So the landscape is key and fundamental and why it's one of the best destinations in Wales. As well as being unsightly, fly tipping can cause all sorts of problems. Sometimes the waste is hazardous and needs to be uh, collected as soon as possible so it doesn't damage the environment. If it's dumped near water courses, it can cause pollution. If it's broken glass or sharp objects, it can cause health hazards for people as well as livestock. And some of the uh, waste, when it's dumped in certain locations, can actually cause fires, so it can become a fire risk as well. I think in the, in the worst case scenario, we'll get between two and three reports a week. Uh, we have an online reporting system where members of the public can report sightings and download photographs for us and then also our staff will pick things up while they're out and about as well and uh, we'll, we'll deal with that accordingly otherwise we'll pass it on to the relevant authority or relevant landowner. Our flight and action range would like to see Wales free from flight to that's our ultimate aim and we don't do it alone we work with over 50 partner organisations that share that vision and we work hard together to develop collaborative solutions to the problem. There's still over 32,000 incidents of flight in Wales and, and that's far too many. And that, can, that, that type of flight can have a massive adverse impact on the environment, on communities, even pollute water courses, and have a really, really adverse aesthetic effect. People come into Wales expect to see beautiful beaches like the one we've got behind us, or beautiful rolling hills, now mountains. They expect to see that when they come here. And, they, and those type of places are enjoyed by communities and tourists alike. What tourists don't expect to see is flight to be strewn all across the area and that's actually what happened here I guess in six months ago so they flight and waste material here and if you imagine a tourist witnessing that that very time that could have really detracted from his enjoyment of the area and when he got home he could very well have deterred him from returning to Wales and could have actually put his family members and friends off from visiting Wales. If you are thinking of getting, getting waste removed from your property the first thing to ask is the person that you're employing to take it away from you, is he or she a registered waste carrier? You must ask this question. Ask them where the waste is going. Now, you, they should be able to give you the answers and if the answers they give you leave you suspicious, um, you should be suspicious. So I'd say to communities out there, if you have any information on people who are flight to been anywhere or you actually witness flight to being in your communities, please report it to your local authorities. If you would like to report an incident of flight tipping or require further information on how to dispose of your old or unwanted items responsibly, please visit flytipinactionwales.org.